We want to transfer one embryo at a time. And I always say it's don't make them compete for resources. Let that embryo have the full surface area of the uterus to have a really nice placenta to grow into, decrease the chance of loss or pregnancy complication down the road. Interestingly, if you transfer two embryos, of course, you have a higher chance of twins. You don't see much of a change in the pregnancy rate, just the twinning rate. But even without transferring two embryos, a single embryo transfer significantly increases the chance of identical twinning. Now, overall, it's still very low, but identical twinning, where one embryo splits, so you have two children who are genetically the same, in nature, that happens at about a half a percent. In IVF, it happens closer to two to three percent of the time probably just because of that embryo being loaded into a, a catheter, maybe its external surface is touched in some way, makes it more predisposed to split after we put it inside the body. That's still ultimately a very low odds of it happening. But if you put it in context of I do 400 embryo transfers a year, then I'm going to definitely see some patients who are having identical twinning from a single embryo transfer also, you know, importantly, justifying just putting one in at a time, because if you put two in and one of them split or both of them split, you could have triplets or quadruplets.